Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious zucchini pasta that has zero flour in it and is just absolutely loaded with flavor and is just a fun take on pasta. So let's dive in. All right, so first up, I'm gonna make a quick pesto by adding a handful of fresh basil and flat leaf parsley to a food processor, along with some Parmesan cheese, fresh crushed garlic, lightly toasted pine nuts, some lemon zest, and some olive oil. And if you're running out of some room in your uh, food processor like I am here, just give it a few pulses just to give yourself a little bit more space, and then you're gonna add your avocado, and then run the food processor straight for about two minutes until it becomes a very vibrant green paste. After the pesto has come together and is thoroughly blended, transfer it to another container, cover with plastic wrap, and set it in the fridge until you are ready to use it. Next up, I'm gonna carefully shred my zucchini and yellow squash by using a Japanese mandolin with the medium size teeth attachment. Now, of course, there are plenty of contraptions online and in your local restaurant supply stores uh, to achieve this zucchini noodle form. Uh, but when you're using this particular technique with a Japanese mandolin, just be extremely careful since it takes a little time to get used to the uh, precise pressure and hand positioning just to get that consistent noodle size from end to end. Also, while you're shredding, be mindful to avoid using the most center part of the squash since it's full of uh, fibrous seeds and it's not strong enough to form into the shape of a noodle. Uh, but once you're done shredding both squashes, transfer them to a bowl and set aside. After the noodles are done, I'm gonna simply slice up some multicolored cherry tomatoes along with some of my favorite olives, uh, which these are called Castel Vetrano olives. Next, in a small pan that's on medium heat, I'm going to add a generous amount of olive oil, then add olives and tomatoes, along with a pinch or so of chili flakes, some fresh picked thyme, and cracked black pepper. Warm this mixture up for about five minutes, but try to avoid uh, cooking the tomatoes too much since this is going to be a warm garnish that still has a fresh bite to it. But of course, once it's finished, set aside until you're ready to garnish your pasta dish. Alrighty, so now that it seems that everything's pretty much ready to go, it's time to start cooking the squash noodles. So in a large saute pan that's on high heat, add some olive oil to it, then the zucchini noodles, and finally a few dollops of avocado herb pesto. Give this a few tosses and cook for about two to three minutes, and then it's time to plate. Here I'm just going to place a small bit of spinach down first just to get a nice base for my dish. Then a few spoonfuls of the savory warm tomatoes and olives mixture uh, just to dress the plate um, kind of around the spinach. After that I'm going to add a few twirls of the avocado and herb pesto zucchini pasta. Give it that really beautiful twirly pasta effect. And then a little drizzle of the warm dressing and of course I'm going to finish it off with some freshly grated parmesan cheese. And that's it folks, now of course, it's time to enjoy. Okay, <laughs> what's up guys? All right, so these zoodles or the uh, zucchini noodles are done. This looks really, really good. I'm really enjoying the way I made uh, the pesto. I've seen this done a million times. The avocado basil pesto is definitely not um, original you know, to this recipe. Um, and I've seen it a lot throughout you know, these types of dishes and pasta dishes, especially this zucchini um, you know, noodle dish. And I just really like it. It kind of replaces that Alfredo texture that you might expect from a you know, fettuccine Alfredo or a cream pasta and it really just gives a lot of body to the basil pesto that I really, really like. I'm excited to dig in um, and tell you guys how I did, so let me do that. 
like I said, if I was served this at a restaurant and I really sort of just closed my eyes, I'd have a hard time figuring out that it was zucchini. I mean, it's just so, so pasta-like. Mm. Just a little al dente, which is, you know, what you're shooting for with your pasta. Not overcooked. Still has that really beautiful, slight crunch. Have a nice little acidity to them uh, with some of that balsamic. You get a little bit of that salinity and olive flavor from the Castle Vitrano olives, which are my favorite green olive. Just has a wonderful meaty, um, you know, fresh olive flavor is um, the best way I could put it. And it just works perfectly with this dish. Mm. I love making dishes like this, approaching it from like a fresh set of eyes because like I said, I never, I never really made uh, zucchini noodles before. I never really, you know, attempted this dish until now. And in doing so, um, you know, it obviously reshapes what I would like to do with maybe other vegetables, with other different dishes, and, you know, even fruits, you know, expanding it to, you know, thinly sliced fruit or, you know, just reimagining uh, different textures to recreate dishes that we have, you know, a preconceived idea of what they should be and sort of just recreating them with the use of veggies and different products and different ingredients to make them exciting, healthy, and just really inspire you to cook more in the kitchen and uh, make more food for your friends and family. So uh, that makes everybody happy. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, comment down below for future video requests, things you wanna see on my channel. Also make sure you leave uh, questions down below um, that you've always wanted to ask me because I'm gonna be doing a Q and A in the next week or so. And uh, you know, the more questions, the better. That way you get to know, uh, you know how I came to be on YouTube and uh, you know, my past and all my colorful uh, culinary history. So make sure you leave questions down below for that. And of course, I will see you next time with another recipe. Later guys. Thank you.